Turns out our parents were right. Listening to loud music can ruin your hearing, but how much exactly, and how does it all work? Hey guys, Tara here for DNews, and I'm sure we all heard these little nuggets of wisdom from our parents growing up. Don't sit too close to the TV, you'll go blind. Don't listen to loud music, you'll go deaf. And while the first one might be bunk, it turns out loud music actually can ruin your hearing. Who knew our parents could be right? According to a new study published this week in Frontiers in Neuroanatomy, listening to loud music can cause physical changes to our auditory nerves that lead to hearing loss later in life and difficulty understanding speech. Now typically when a person starts losing their hearing, one of the first things to go is their ability to understand speech, particularly in noisy situations. So this study specifically looked at the cellular mechanisms associated with hearing loss and tinnitus, which is a ringing of the ears, triggered by exposure to loud sounds. Previous research has shown that repeated exposure to loud sounds can cause our myelin, which is the material that coats all of our nerves, including our auditory nerves, to wear down and become thinner. Now typically when you hear a sound, that sound gets transmitted through your brain through a series of electrical signals that are jumping from one myelin domain to another. And that gap between domains is called a node of Ranvier. When you're exposed to loud sound though, the thinning of your myelin causes those nodes to widen, which also forces your auditory channels to redistribute their resources in response to that change. So in a nutshell, it takes longer for sounds to actually reach your brain. Now even though we've known this, it's still been kind of a mystery up until now as to what actually causes the hearing loss. Is it the thinning of that myelin or the redistribution of those auditory channels? Well, thanks to the new data modeling techniques employed in this study, we now know that the majority of hearing loss is directly caused by the thinning of your myelin. And knowing this brings us one step closer to being able to target and repair the cause of hearing loss instead of just treating the symptoms. It also probably wouldn't hurt to just turn the music down a little. Friendly suggestion. I'm sure some of you out there are seasoned concert goers, so what do you guys think? Have you noticed your hearing getting progressively worse over the years? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, and as always, thank you guys for watching.